Welcome to your second flip. This is dealing with interval notation. The examples on the page after this are the homework. So I would recommend that you print that page and follow along and complete that page because that will be what you need to complete to turn in for your homework um, should you need to remediate for your quizzes. If you are given interval notation, this is a hard bracket and a negative three, five soft bracket. First thing I do if I'm given interval notation is go ahead and go to uh, your number line. So I'm going to plot the negative 3 and the 5. Now the 5 is a soft approach, so it's not including that value. <coughs> so we're going to open circle that. The 3 is a hard bracket, so we're going to include that. Now the interval is all values between the negative 3 and the 5, so we're going to shade in between there. This example has a hard stop at a 3, and then um, you're approaching infinity. So what we're going to do is draw a number line. That number line is supposed to have an arrow on both sides. Sorry about that. We'll add an arrow over here. And we have a 3, and then we go to infinity. Well, that 3 is an included value. So it's a closed circle, and we're approaching positive infinity, so we're going to shade on the number line to infinity. Now, if you use these arrows up at the top to help you decide what interval to shade, that's great. Your answer needs to be shaded on the number line. Okay, how would you write no solution in interval notation? Well, no solution is just zero with a line through it, no brackets no parentheses, nothing like that. All real numbers, however, is a little bit different. If you think about how all real numbers looks on a number line, it looks like all the values filled in. Well, that means as you read from the leftmost limit, you're actually approaching negative infinity, and then your rightmost limit, you're approaching positive infinity. I'm going to do a couple of other examples on this next page. Okay, For example, we have an OR here. Our critical values are at negative 3 and at 4. So I'm going to come here, negative 3, come here, 4. Negative 3 and 4 are both included values, so those are going to be closed circle. Now, my values for x need to be less than negative 3, so that's going to head to the left, and greater than 4, which is going to head to the right, so it's going to be shaded there and there. In set notation, you're simply going to say all values of x such that x is less than or equal to negative 3, or x is greater than or equal to 4, close bracket, and your interval notation, well your interval notation as you read the bar from left to right, it's a soft approach to negative infinity because you never reach infinity. Then you stop at negative 3 and that includes that value, and then we pick back up at 4 and we approach positive infinity. Okay, last one. This is all real numbers except x cannot equal negative 2. So in set notation, it's all values of x such that x does not equal negative 2. It's a little more complicated to write it in interval notation because my leftmost limit is I approach negative infinity and then I approach negative 2 but never quite reach it, so that's and at parentheses. Then I pick back up at negative 2 and approach a positive infinity.